This is a story about fear. No, this is a story about a boy. No, it's a story about a boy and his fears. No, this is a story about a boy and why he fears not. Who fears not? Fear not! Fears not. This is Fear Not, which is a puppet play. My name is John Gallus. I am the writer, director, and puppet builder in this case. I always knew the story of Fear Not, which is a Grimm's Brothers fairy tale, and I started thinking kind of about making a deeper exploration of what fear is and fear's role and what it's like to actually not experience fear and is it necessary. There's something inherently mystical about Celtic mythology. There's something very, I don't know, spiritual. It is believed that fairies are amongst you, that they're around you, that it's constant. So it is, a, it's a separate ro world, but it interweaves with our own. Once upon a time, there was a boy who did not know what fear was. His name was Fear Not. I, I've had to learn to do a lot of things through this process. I've never built puppets before, but I figured I had to learn somehow. And so I, these are the, the puppets that you see in this are the first kind of incarnation of the puppets uh, that I, I have ever created. Um, I know where I want them to go. I know what I want to change and what I want to fix about them. Um, but I'm gaining experience with it, so. We have one puppet that's like a full body puppet. Um, another puppet is this huge, huge um, creature and so it was fun seeing like how anything can really be a puppet. He then meets uh, the character of Keenthalig, who is uh, Cloricon, and, which is basically a, a leprechaun's drunk cousin, is the way that it's described <laughs> as. He meets various monsters and various creatures from Celtic mythology, including uh, the Fua, which is a wrath spirit. He meets uh, the Lianan Shi, which is a fairy queen of inspiration and of the arts, and finally uh, meets fear itself. Fear will be an ever-present character throughout the entirety of the story. Uh, when Fear Not does eventually meet fear at the end of the show, it doesn't go quite as planned for either of them, I think, so. <laughs> Working with puppets, you ha it's a fantasy world, so you almost have to world build yourself as an actor. And to, to find these moments of, of, of believability and imagination towards these puppets or, or to things that are around you when we're just working in a rehearsal space with nothing around us. It's enhanced sometimes by the puppet, the freedom that you can have. Definitely like not having a real person in front of you helps your imagination a lot. Uh, I think first and foremost there's just something very visceral about uh, the use of puppetry, and especially in a fairy tale. There's just certain things and certain way, uh, certain way of conveying a story that uh, puppets can do that a human actor can't. To give it a type of bigger than life thing, to make the fantasy of it fantasy. Because humans can take things so far, but the puppets add a layer of fun and imagination. Fear is not necessarily a bad thing, but also to kind of contemplate those things that we view as bad or negative in your life and see them in some ways as positives, to really kind of be able to re-examine some of our preconceived notions about, uh, about those, those sorts of things. <laughs>